Fighting out of the blue corner. Standing six feet one inch, he weighed in at 186 pounds. He's an all-around mixed martial artist specializing in kickboxing and jujitsu with a record of 11 wins and three losses with three knockouts and eight submission wins to his credit. Fighting out of Team Quest and hailing from Omaha, Nebraska, introducing Ryan Jensen. And his opponent across the cage on my right, fighting out of the red corner, standing six feet even. He weighed in at 185 pounds, raised in the disciplines of boxing and submission fighting. His record stands at 24 wins and six losses, with 10 wins coming by way of knockout and 10 by submission. Representing Team Jackson Submission Fighting from Albuquerque, New Mexico, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Smokin' Joe Villasenor. Once again, a referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki, now to give instructions. Touch gloves and good luck. Referee Mario Yamasaki going over last-minute instructions, and in our opening contest, two of the more decorated camps in MMA being represented. Joe Villasenor out of the Team Jackson Mixed Martial Arts Gym in Albuquerque, New Mexico, while Ryan Jensen is representing Team Quest from Portland, Oregon. We are set for three five-minute rounds. Strike Forces Ryan Jensen versus Elite XC Smoke and Joe Villasenor. The match is underway. Villasenor paid a lot of respect to Jensen, and he said he had a bully-type style. Of course, Villasenor, also known to being a bully inside the cage, likes to press the action, likes to be aggressive. That's Coming off a hotly contested win over Ricky Fukuda at Elite XC Uprising in September of last year. Oh, that was a tough fight, too. Fukuda, southpaw. But Jensen can switch from southpaw to orthodox. Front kick. High roundhouse kick blocked. Villasenor now goes for the takedown. Has the single leg. Good clinch work here by Ryan Jensen. And staving off the takedown attempt by Villasenor early in this fight. Talk about the confidence level earlier. Greg Jackson said his striking's improved. His conditioning's improved. His mental game's improved. We're going to see tonight. And he's improved his position with a side mount on top of Jensen. The senor has Greg Jackson and Mike Winklejohn in his corner. They are screaming out instructions, asking him to take his time, be patient, still very early on in the battle. Good job by Jensen to get into half butterfly, now into the closed guard. So, the senor's advantage for the time being has been nullified. It was a bit of a capitulation for the senor to give up that side mount position, which is a great position to have up against the fence, especially for strikes like elbows. A minute and a half gone in this opening round. Villasenor wide base. Jensen pinned up along the fence. Villasenor now working the body with his right hand. Jensen is very comfortable in this position, and he's going to be sliding his hips to the side and trying for a, some kind of a submission. He's got to be careful. He can use his hand to push off the fence. Can't grab onto the fence, however. Villasenor has got to be very careful in this situation with Jensen. See Jensen working, uh, attempting at that high guard, holding on. What do you think Jensen should be doing a better job here to try to sweep or reverse the position here, Stephen? Is there anything you can see at this time? Well, I, I don't think he's worried about reversing position. I think he's worried about getting his legs up and around Joey Villasenor's neck. Well, the first thing he needs to do is push away from that cage. Definitely, and uh, was now Villasenor busy peppering his body. Not a lot of... Uh, Give and take here, actually. They've been in, in this position for about a minute. Villasenor unable to improve his position and really a, a very defensive guard from Ryan Jensen. The onus of action isn't just on Jensen. It's also on Villasenor. Villasenor has got to get busy with strikes. Uh, posture up. Yeah, definitely has to posture. He's been very close here and busy working the body, but not much else in the fans here at the HP Pavilion. A hotbed for mixed martial arts getting a little restless. They'd like to see... A little more action here with three minutes now gone in the opening round. You think Villasenor is uh, 
putting a lot of respect out the Jensen submission game by not standing up in that position, you know, uh, uh, get the distance. Well, there now he stands up, and I think this is where Villasenor has to be in his element there, kneeing away at Jensen now, a couple of knees to the head before he went down to the canvas. We have blood, John. Bill, I was thinking that exact same thing about the respect factor from Villasenor of the guard of Jensen, but once they stood up, Villasenor landed that good knee. Well, you take a look at Villasenor's resume. Out of his 24 wins, he's had 10 KOs, 10 submissions, very well-rounded, and I think his ground game may tend to be a little underrated at times because he is known predominantly as a stand-up fighter. Well, he was conservative for sure when they were on the floor, but now he's not being conservative because after he landed that knee, and his... Oh, beautiful. Oh, Villasenor tags Jensen. Jensen pops back up to his feet, but is in trouble, and the desperate Jensen now fights back. And turns the tide of faculties immediately and bring the thunder to Spoken Joe Villasenor. A furious pace here in the final minute that has the crowd now cheering both competitors. I think Jensen just got emotional once he got rocked by that punch. And he got emotional as in angry. And Villasenor tags Jensen again with the left hand. Jensen comes back with a combination of his own. So they have definitely picked up the pace. Low cut kick, another cut kick to the lead leg by Ryan Jensen. That first low kick appeared to hurt Joe. And the right hand! Right hand and he's out. That's out goes up. Jensen! What a shot by Villasenor! That it turned into a really great fight, but boy, he really took care of business with that right hand. It, it turned into a great fight that led to a fantastic finish. What a punch by Smokin' Joe Villasenor, who just smoked Jensen like one of Cuba's finest. Nice, Morrow. Jensen made it a great fight, though. Did he, he got up, he got up and he got busy, but he walked right into that right hand. The official time is four minutes and 45 seconds. We talked about Villasenor being a little conservative in Jensen's guard, and I think both you and Bill were right in, in stating that maybe he had a little too much respect for Jensen's guard. But boy, in the stand-up, Villasenor proved to be the effective one. What was interesting, Morrow, is that once they stood back up, nobody went for a takedown. They just said, we're going to end things right here standing. And that's exactly what happened. And this is where Joe Villasenor first got Jensen in trouble. And it was with the left hand. It was ducking out of it. Caught him and it almost knocked him out right there. But Jensen was very tough in escaping harm's way up against the fence. Villasenor swinging for the rafters right there. But he knew that Jensen was still tough. Jensen just jumped right back in his face. And I'm telling you, right down, he ducks down. It's a left jab. And bam, right on the jaw, and that was it. Jensen was out. That was a beautiful shot set up off a double jab. Villasenor waited in the trenches with his M16 and then blasted away at that huge shell right upside the chin. And the referee just jumped right in to save Jensen from more damage. All right, let's make it official now with Jimmy Lennon Jr. and the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of four minutes, 45 seconds in round number one. He is the winner by way of knockout, smoking Joe Villasenor. I'm here with the winner, smoking Joe Villasenor. Okay, Joe, um, we've seen some ups, we've seen some downs in your career here. Check. There we go. Okay. We've seen some ups and we've seen some downs in your career here with the lead XC. What does this mean for you? Well, I mean, it means a lot. I worked hard for this fight. Um, I got a new opponent who uh, who came in shape and is a great competitor. I don't take nothing away from him, but uh, he was totally the opposite of what I was training for, so it, it stressed me out a little bit. 
But, you know, I want to say hi, Mom. I love you. I want to say hi to Farmington, New Mexico, and everybody back home in Albuquerque. You got it, buddy. We're going to show the replay up here. I want you to talk me through what was going through your mind. Well, you know, uh, I landed a couple of shots, and he got real aggressive and started hitting me with some shots. Um, I was trying to find my range with him, and, and actually the double jab was just kind of a setup to, to get him to stand straight up, which we've seen in film, and sure enough, the, the straight right worked. Well, you and Greg Jackson said you improved your stand-up, you improved your ground game, you improved your mental aspect, you improved your conditioning. Way to come out and prove it tonight. Hey, thanks, man. I just want to thank uh, Elite XC for giving me this opportunity. Everybody back home and my coaches behind me and my teammates, I love you all, and just keep on going. Let's hear it for Smokin' Joe via Senor. Smokin' Joe via Senor rearranges Ryan Jensen's DNA with a right, devastating right, right. over right overhand right to record the knockout here in the opening fight of the night. Now posing with his mentors, Greg Jackson and Mike Winklejohn. Another win for Team Jackson in Elite XC. And with one fight down and four still to come, we'd like to tell you what's coming up in the near future here on Showtime Sports.